Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the audio effects library which actually comes with Final Cut Pro 10 that a lot of people don't know is there and don't know that the actual power and resources it offers um, out of the box. Now what you need to do to get started is to go up to Final Cut Pro and choose download additional content. Now once you've downloaded and installed the additional content you're going to have access to um, a few more additional things for motion, uh, a few more templates and titles and effects and also some sound effects. Now if you go over to the audio um, browser you can see we've got access to things like GarageBand, the iTunes library um, and you can see there's other ones. There's the Apple Loops for Soundtrack Pro if you've got Final Cut Pro 7 installed and you've also got the Final Cut Pro sound effects. Now we can toggle this uh, folder down and you can see there's loads of subcategories um, but if we just take a look at all of them you can see there are literally hundreds of sound effects for you to use in your films and you have a license to use them um, you, you can use them in a, as part of a commercial project the only thing you can't do is redistribute the actual sound effects uh, on, the, on their own so let's take a look at this project we're working on so we're working on my short film called The Karate Kid complex. And we just play a little bit. You can see or you can hear that there's something missing there and that would be the sound of the bell going off. At the moment, we've got lots of ambience, lots of noise, even some um, music as well. There just needs to be a bell sound. But if we go into here, and if we uh, were to type in, say, school, now you can see that there's a few school sound effects. There's, a, there's some ambient sound, and there's also a school bell. Uh, and you can choose the interior or exterior one. In this case, it's an interior shot, so we definitely, definitely want to use the interior sound effect. Um, now, if we just zoom in here into the uh, timeline with the uh, Command Plus, we want it to start off about, well, literally in line with the shot, and we're going to see how that sounds. So we can just grab this shot from our uh, music and sound library, straight into our timeline and with snapping turned on you can turn it on and off with the N key when it's blue it means it's turned on we can literally line it up with the start of this shot now if we give this a playback you can hear that sounds good but the only problem is that the shot ends before the uh, before the sound effect finishes. So there's a couple of things we can do. We could trim this shot, um, which, which would be more than easy to do, or if the, uh, what you generally find is that when you start doing the sound mix, you've had to lock down the edits. You can send off the uh, film to be graded and you can send off the sound to be sound mixed. So in this case, we would have to try and make the sound effect longer. So if we were to hold down the uh, option or alt key and drag this bell, bell sound effect up, and then if we choose this clip and hold down option and close bracket that's going to end the clip there and we can just fade this over really quickly and we should be able to mask the transition and now you can't even tell that the sound effect is gone uh, that it's actually two different sound effects well the same found sound effect but looped as it were. So you can see that although we're given these uh, pre-recorded sound effects, we can actually manipulate them a little bit to suit our needs. And one thing we also might want to do is uh, do some sound mixing. So you can see here we cut from the close-up of the bell to some uh, kids in the school corridor. Now if we park our playhead on the uh, cut point and we were to split this clip with Command B and then select this clip. What we, uh, one thing we might want to do, which I'm going to do now, is pan the sound effect. Now, what I mean by that is, 
if we go into pan mode, you can choose that we've got a few different uh, 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 options or presets. Now, if we go into ambience, that's instantly going to add um, a position of being behind the user. Now, this is a 5.1 surround sound mixer. My project is in surround sound. If you don't know how to do that, um, then not, there'll be a tutorial sometime this week covering surround sound projects. Um, but basically, you can grab this handle and choose where you want the sound to be. Now, if you imagine this is where your audience member is sitting, then you can see these are the back two speakers and these are the front uh, three speakers, and it shows you how much sound is going to come out of each speaker to, to create that sound effect. So you can have it coming from anywhere in the room to create some kind of three-dimensional sound, and I want it to come from behind the audience. Now, if we play this back, you won't be able to hear anything if you've got stereo speakers, but you might be able to hear a shift. Now, your speakers, like I said, you might not be able to hear anything, but on mine, I hear a shift in dynamics to my rear speakers as I have a 5.1 surround sound mix up, although the output is to 2.1, so what I get is a slightly different sound, um, as it were. And what we can also do is... Um, if we go into the equalization and we can choose one of these, if we go into bass boost just to give it a more ambient feel so that maybe the high tones have been cut out a little bit. And if we go into this equalizer, if we bring down these high tones a little bit, I've got a tutorial on sound equalization. A link will be in the description. Make sure you check that out. I'm just going to create a transition now though. That way it doesn't have quite as much of a hard edge to it as it transfers from being front to rear speakers. There we go. Nice and soft transition. Now we play back the whole little sequence. And now we've created a nice sound effect, changed the dynamics of it, so we create a sense of atmosphere and 3D placement of the sound within the scene. And this all started from choosing a sound effect from the sound effect library. Now remember where to get these sound effects, you just choose download additional content from the Final Cut Pro menu, and then here in the uh, audio uh, library, you can find it under Final Cut Pro sound effects ready for your use and this is a commercial license now you can't redistribute the sound effects individually but you can use them as part of commercial projects which is fantastic um, I also just wanted to quickly apologize for any offense my previous video caused um, I know some of you took the show reel in the wrong way um, and it may have come across that I was being uh, big-headed um, or self-obsessed um, however all it is is when I create a video in this instance I created a video to go on my website and I wanted to upload that video and YouTube is basically my digital online home so where else would I share it but with you guys um, so I'm sorry if that offended any of you guys um, but I'm going to be creating Final Cut Pro tutorials um, henceforth and some other tutorials for other programs coming very very soon I promise um, so stay tuned thanks for watching uh, thanks for subscribing and I'll be back soon with some more tutorials